everyone <laughs> how you guys doing it has been so long i missed you guys so very much how are you guys i am sure you guys are well doing great and happy new year to you all hey let's get back on track i missed you guys and thank you to everyone that subscribed to thank you to everyone that's still subscribing and thank you for all the thumbs up oh my gosh thank you i appreciate you guys Today I have a new video for you that you will like and that video will help us avoiding all the mistakes that we women are doing out there unknowingly. Okay, so, and I'm not judging, I'm just bringing, I just bring this video for you. I'm just making this video for you just so you can learn and I can learn, every woman can learn how to make ourselves better than before okay so this uh, video is titled women don't let money control you or lead you okay as a matter of fact you control it all right so I will give you six elements six elements that you can identify if you are doing it so you can stop doing them okay those six elements will tell you when money controls you how you can resolve it okay so you can stop it <laughs> and the other six element which is the second part of the video will tell you when you control the money how about that because there's so many things we're doing and we don't even know if it's money having us doing those kind of stuff so that's the reason i title it women don't let money lead you you lead the money okay let's get started when you let money control you or lead you what happened you ended up having loss you do stupidity and also you have regrets we don't want that okay and most of the time we're doing them unknowingly so today this video will help you identify these things that you are doing without knowing and what's the cause of you doing it because the cause is it's money so this video is for all my women out there all the sisters out there to tell you to help you to become the woman you are born to be not a woman that just i just be i'm just here on earth i'm just here just to whatever comes i'm okay with it no you cannot be because you are more than you ever think you are okay just a little bit of effort then you will see a big difference, okay? All right, number one, you settle for less when you let money lead you. Anything comes in front of you, it's okay. Whatever they give you, it's okay. The person takes you to McDonald's, you're okay with it. Whatever the person finds that have no value or cheaper for them, they give it to you because you allow it, okay? Because I'm okay, I'm an easy person. Pretty much that's what you're saying when you settle for less, okay? So because the man knows that, so therefore you say, you know what? Let's just give that to her. I know she'll be fine with it. Don't do it, my friend. <laughs> okay, that's number one. Number two, your choice of man don't matter anymore. So your choices become whatever. So men comes, smell good, don't smell good, don't put good clothes on, don't have a good sneakers on, don't have a job, it's okay. Okay, your choices are gone because you're so desperate for whatever the person have or can give you, hey, it's fine, you can do that, okay? I'm just saying, and the reason I'm saying you can't do that because when I put it that way, you will see, you know what, there's certain things that you think it's okay and people have been brushing it off for you. I'm just saying it can happen because I, we as women, I'm a woman like you, I'm a sister like you, so therefore I'll tell you straight up, don't do that kind of stuff, okay? You're worth more than you can ever think, okay? God give us a great talent, gift that you can ever imagine because we are so much more than what we are being offered, okay? And you're not selling yourself, but I'm putting it that way because we're worth more than you can think okay if only we know how to treat ourselves and how to put ourselves out there 
okay number three you always depend on others don't do that okay you can't be someone that if somebody don't do for me I'm not gonna do it if somebody don't give me I have nothing you can't do that or if you have something you just waste it and hoping that somebody will add or replace or give you something that you already spent so don't depend on others because you never know tomorrow okay be your own person choose to be your own person choose to be dependent on your own self instead of others because when you depend on others people treat you miserably okay they treat you awful they treat you like a kid they treat you like you nothing so that's the reason you don't depend on people and then you lose respect when you do that you'll be wondering why so and so is treating me that way why so and so is saying certain things to me i feel uncomfortable i feel unhappy and so forth and so on why because you know what they have to treat you like a ping pong because you let them because of your action you depend on them to do things for you so therefore when they need your help when they need your service you have to be available to for them to turn you left and right and bouncing you back and forth okay because you're not independent so therefore you become a dependent instead of independent woman okay that's number three number four you always envy what others have why because you don't work you don't put effort on what you can do on what you can have you see people's stuff you always want it you always want it without earning what you can why i say that because it's so sometimes you take envy on uh, envy can be on two different things i can envy what you have by working hard to get what i see you have but a little bit better than what you have because what somebody have that's what they want that's what they work hard to have but what you see you can do better okay so you can like what somebody have but you always have to work hard to come up with your own to it's better to become original it's good to become an original okay I heard um, a speaker said one once um, before I believe his name is Les, Les Brown I don't know if I'm if I'm pronouncing it right but it's Les Brown he he mentioned an author I forgot the author's name but he mentioned an author that says I think it was very powerful to me when he said that phrase he said that be your own original when he said that it means a lot but what caught my attention is the fact that the author said choose to go a place where there's no trace where you can leave a trace for others instead of you go places where others already have traces so I think it's really matters when you leave your own trace don't depend on others don't fix your eyes on what people have okay be your own person it is very important be your own woman because when you do that you gain respect okay my friend all right let's move on number five you always wish for things you always wish for things that oh my gosh i wish i wish i wish but never do anything about it oh my gosh if i could win the lottery Oh, I'll have a million dollars. Oh my gosh, I wish I could have a big uh, mansion. I wish I could have a, a lot of money. I wish I could have a good job. You wish, you wish, you become a wisher. Instead of accomplish what you wish for, okay? Anybody can wish, but you have to work to make it happen, okay? If you keep wishing, but it's not on paper to accomplish what you wrote or what you put on paper, your wish will never come true okay because people you see that have a lot of money that have big houses that have big stuff and etc a good job they wish it and they make it happen because they said that there's another phrase I said if you can dream it you can make it happen okay so therefore if you wish it you can make it happen all it takes is a little bit of work the man comes he knows what you wish he knows what you want guess what I promise you then you know what I'll help your wish come true and then you heard that because you're so desperate to hear oh you know what my wish will come true and then you lay down with the person and before you know it no wishes come true 
therefore you depend on your own self my friend i'm telling you don't let this stuff leads you it's important finally number six is you lay down with anyone and everyone oh my gosh and when you do it you won't even know because you have you are so you are someone with so many wishes so many hopes so many things you want you want you want you want you want but no efforts to make them happen so therefore as soon the person come and they hit one of the button of your wishes you say oh my gosh i'm gonna do it and then you jump for it and then guess what happened not only you lost you did that stupidness the person asked you to do and then in return what all you get is regrets that's sad so my friend i'm telling you right now you can change your life you can change your ways don't keep saying that's the way i am oh i you know what i can't do it you know what i'm afraid you know what i don't think i'll be able to make it and so forth and so on all these things i'll tell you right now they are excuses to stay where you at everybody can change every human being can change the only thing that cannot change is the season is trees is dogs animals that cannot change but human we have the ability to change if you if we want to okay all it takes is a little bit of effort all right those were the six elements for for you to know when money leads you okay when money leads you you do craziness you do stuff that you don't even know when you do it it's always afterwards you realize that what you did was wrong okay all right let's move on part two because we don't want the video to be too long okay part two of the video <laughs> all right this part is to tell you when you lead the money when you lead the money you are in control the benefit of it when you do it okay number one you are strong you are fearless you have a lot of courage okay you are a dreamer and lastly you are a hard working woman did you hear what i said <laughs> you are a hard working woman all right so you are strong you feel less you are a dreamer you are cur you have courage and you you dream you wish big and lastly you are a hard working woman so if you're a hard working woman anything can happen because by having a dream, by working, by wishing, by having the courage, being strong, you can do anything because you can work hard to make it happen. Okay? That's number one. Number two. Number two. You feel less. Part of number one. You feel less. Why? Because um, whatever comes in front of you, you can face it. You can face it. And how you face it? By turning it around. When you have fear, things control you instead of you control it controlling it okay so therefore be fearless when problems come you know what work a little bit harder when um fear come guess what confront it when um things become hard just work harder and you my friend can overcome it okay number three you are a dreamer. If you can dream it, you can make it happen. Okay? You have to be a woman with a dream. You can't be someone that have no dream. Okay? You can dream it, but you have to make it happen. If you dream it and you don't make it happen, it's nothing. Okay? We don't need just a dreamer. We need a dreamer that can make things happen. You work hard. You think hard. You have courage, you are strong, and you make it happen. Let me tell you something. When you are these things, men wouldn't dare come to you and offer you anything they want or feel like giving you anything they want. Okay? They will always hesitate of bringing you things because they said, oh my gosh, 
She works so hard. She's someone that dream big. She just she's someone that have big vision. She's someone with hope. Well, you know what? To have this woman, I will have to work as hard or twice harder as she does in order for me to meet what she wants or what she needs to have. Okay? Number four, you you wish big. How you wish big? Not only you wish big, but you work to make it happen. Okay, your wishes are not just every little things that comes around you. Oh, you know what? I wish to have a car. I wish to have a house. I wish to have just... No, when you wish for things, wish three times, two times the value of what you see people have. Reason why I said that. Choose to be different. If you wish big, if you put yourself in a position to have bigger things... You will not settle for less. You will not see yourself having like a one bedroom apartment, etc. Unless you want to. If you want it, that's different. But instead of somebody come and giving you what they want, that's a no-no. Okay? You can't lean on somebody to make it happen. Okay? You can't do that. So you have to put yourself in a position to work hard to make it then listen to me well because I know some of you might say oh my gosh she's old school oh my gosh she don't know what she's talking about oh my gosh what the man gonna just stay in there and I have to do everything that's not what I'm saying I'm saying to you you have to put yourself in a position on a level that you already started something okay <laughs> instead of you just do nothing you are flat on the floor on the ground where the person have to come and be your savior or lift you up. No, it doesn't work that way. Okay. And it could work that way, but guess what? The person will just treat you worse than a dog. Going to treat, treat you worse than a human being. Okay. And you're going to wonder yourself why so-and-so is treating me that way. People are going to look at you and say, why you let so-and-so doing that to you? Why? What's the reason? And you will look ashamed because you, will not have, you, you won't have anything to say because you allow it. Because you have nothing. So the person can treat you any kind of way. Okay, because of they are the one doing everything. That's like how it is. So, number five, no man wouldn't dare to just come to you and offer you crap. I call it crap because you are somebody with standards. You are someone with values. You are someone that have dignity. You are someone that love yourself. When you love some when you love yourself, you don't allow people to come in and mess it up. Because you work hard to be where you at. So men wouldn't dare, wouldn't even dare to come and mess you up. So therefore, they will think five times even more of how to meet those standards that you have. They're gonna want, not one man, but many, gonna want to know how can I meet this lady? How can I even see her? How can I get her attention? That's the first thing they're gonna be thinking. Your attention first before anything else. Compared to when money controls you, all they're gonna want to know is to all they want is just to get on your pants. All they want to know is to get in your pants because that's all they know you want. Okay? So and that's all they see you want. So therefore that's what they're gonna have to they're not gonna even they're not gonna even think about nothing else. Because why think so hard? Why even stress it when it's that easy? Okay? But when you have standards, you send men to think. 
before they even come to you if they even can get close to you okay so that's number five it is important to be a woman with standards and value okay number six when you control the money you have standards I just said that number five when you meet a man when you have a man in your life is to be to have you in their lives all they want is to know oh my gosh this woman is someone that I need to walk my, the path I need to walk down the aisle with is a woman I want to introduce to my friends it's a woman I can hold my head up to say I have a wife okay and then you will hear them saying she's my savior she's the woman that made me become when they're saying that that doesn't mean you 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 are the one that's doing everything for them or become their bank account although there's some women that do it but which is that's another story <laughs> that's another story but anyway that's what I'm trying to 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 share with you guys that's what I'm trying to share with you guys you become somebody's savior how because you become their life partner you become their partner that's important lastly you'll heal the person says she's a blessing from the sky to me she's a blessing not a curse you don't want men to say oh my gosh I don't know why I met her I don't know why she came in my life I don't know what was I thinking I don't know man you should hear them when they're talking to their male friends oh my gosh it just like whew. if only you could hear you know that's why Steve Harvey come up with this book I encourage every woman to read it think like a man but act like a lady okay think like a man and act like a, like a lady that's that's great you know if you could put yourself in men's thinking little brain some of them not all of them <laughs> you will see so much that you won't settle for anything that they just offer you because it's like you know what why even stress it why even work hard when I can find that woman that I can just put her uh, when I can, I can when I can when I can just give her McDonald's. Why? You know, that's what they want. But but when they find the woman that is the blessing for them, it's not a woman that let money controls them. Is that mean does that mean that I'm not supposed to have money? That's not what I'm saying at all. I'm saying to you, be in control of your destiny be in control of your life control the money by having control of your life if you don't have control of your life my friend I'm sorry to say you will make a lot of mistakes a lot of mistakes but when you control it every man will be on your path and you wouldn't even have the hand, the feet, the eyes, the body to even manage them all. Okay? Because then you will have choices. You can choose which one is the best for you. Okay? Your eyes will be open. You will see clearer. You can see better. You can understand better to choose the right one for you. That's your heart desire not just your thinking, your emotions. If you can control that, I guarantee you, you will not have regrets. Okay? That's all I have for you today. Hopefully you enjoy it. Hopefully you learned something. Okay? Because <laughs> I certainly understand it. I certainly get it. And again, I'm not criticizing anyone. But as sisters, we need to understand that we have standards that men need to get that men need to understand but they will not understand it don't break the the your head on every wall on the house and say why can't he get it why can't he do this for me why shouldn't he do this to me sorry 
It just not. But you, 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 I'm you, I'm talking to you. <laughs> you have the power to change it. Only if you want. Okay? Until next time, it was a pleasure being with you today. Thanks for all you do and all you have done. Thank you for sharing the videos with friends and family. It was a pleasure, as always, to be with you. And hopefully I will see you in another video. Again, Happy New Year to everybody. Thank you. Until next time, family. Take care. Bye-bye.